to my children, my extended children, and my loved ones. Even though y'all may think I abandoned you when I walked away from everything and everyone, I had a reason for it, and I know each and every one of y'all know why. I want you to know that I love you, always have, and always will. Enjoy the beauty that came from this. And it's blinking, it's going? Yeah. It says record, right? It's blinking. Okay. Go. Hangers of life. I learned how to make dream catchers last year. Probably, I'd say August, maybe July. Uh, I learned how to do the dream catchers by watching a Navajo throwing dream catchers together to uh, go buy his next bottle of whiskey thought to myself, I'd like to try that once, and uh, wired myself a hanger, found a leather glove laying on the ground, I stripped it out to wrap it in, bought some yarn to thread it with, and when I was done making this dream catcher, it was, man, it was beautiful. I thought it was a fluke. It had to have been a fluke, really. So... I decided to make another one just to prove to myself that it was a fluke. Well, it wasn't a fluke. Every dream catcher I spun from thereafter kept bringing me more and more inner peace, yet alone the peace of my everything around me. Everything around me was just peaceful. So, I was still destined to make it to the mountains. I was sitting in the mountains above Netherland, north of Boulder. I guess it was northeast, wherever it was, but it was up in the mountains. Uh, I was spinning a dream catcher, and this thing started talking to me. It started telling me that, hey, I'm a lot more than just a dream catcher here. And I'm a lot more than just you spinning me. Man. Wow. Didn't, didn't want it. Something I didn't want. But I loved doing it because it was peaceful. You know, uh, if you have the opportunity to find some peace in your life that brings you just total serenity, man. Harness it, grasp it, take it wherever it takes you. So I'm spinning these dream catchers, and it says to me, I've got to give myself something of it, something of me to it. But what can I give it? I mean, what can I give something that's already so beautiful and speaking in so much volume? Because everyone that I took down to the Boulder uh, Festival people were just, man, they were just flabbergasted with them. I mean, it just captured their, everything about them. They just got so deep into looking at them, and admiring them, and talking about them. I was honored. It was a privilege. It was a true blessing. Uh, so I'm sitting up there spinning this dream catch, and I thought to myself, since I got to give something, but what can I give? But it wasn't until I was sitting there spinning that dream catcher when I realized what it was. It was here. What was in me that made this to tell the story, first of all, the uniqueness of them, and the, the stories that are so intertwined within the very webbing of them from start to finish. Because... I found out this thing has just been unveiling itself constantly. So I'm spinning this dream catcher, and I'm telling myself, you know, I don't want this. I wanted to justify with myself, why should I waste any more of my time with mankind, or anything for that matter, other than myself for a change. But uh, it wouldn't let me be, I can tell you that. 
the more and more I spun them, the more and more it kept telling me I needed to do something with it. I had to share this message. And I didn't deserve it. And I know mankind don't deserve it. So, I decided to go ahead and follow it. I followed it back to the place I felt worthy of it. You know, to get help to figure it out. Because honestly, I thought I was losing my mind. You know, hearing voices, seeing images. Waking up in the middle of the night out of my sleep with this picture in my mind and throwing a dream catcher together. Yet alone, the stories that were following it. Dream catchers that I make are just that, hangers of life. Hangers of life because for the simple fact it all starts with just a basic coat hanger. And this coat hanger is nothing more than just that, a coat hanger. Well that is until I cut it, I shaped it, I molded it into a loom circle that never ended. Then the, the, the wrapping began which is like the wrapping of knowledge that our society wraps us with of our expectations as we develop. And this thing just started talking. And then the webbing came in. <laughs> wow, the stages are unreal. I mean, here you got the first stage is like us. We're just like that hanger at first until our umbilical cord gets cut and we take our first breath. We're just like that hanger. But once that cord's cut, we take our first breath, society starts wrapping us with all that knowledge of our expectations as we develop through life. Then comes the second stage, and that's the knowledge, you know, of where we're going to go, what we're going to do, how we're going to do it. But for a lot of people, depending on one's environment, of where they're being raised at, can determine the outcome of anybody. And I mean anybody. Whether you be rich, you be poor. Some, it can be so great, but for a lot of them, not so great. The world we're living in is so ugly. But I can honestly tell you that when a soul finds something to overcome every obstacle that life has thrown at them, and then be able to spend something so beautiful out of it, Something beautiful is born. A hangers of life. A hanger is nothing more than that. A hanger. That is, until it's cut, shaped, and molded into a loom circle that never ends. Well, that's pretty much what our lives are. A never-ending cycle. After birth, the cord is cut. We take our first breath. We're just like that hanger. Because after our cord is cut, this world begins to shape and mold us in stages of growth that our society dictates, or better yet, allows to be dictated. The first is birth, following infancy, adolescent, teen, young adult, to adulthood. These stages of life can dictate the outcome of anyone, no matter who you are. The second stage is the wrapping of knowledge of our expectations as we develop. However, depending on one's environment, life can be great, but for others, not so great. The world we live in is so cruel and ugly. However, there is something beautiful in all that ugliness when a soul learns to overcome every obstacle life has thrown at it. Then, something beautiful is born. Taking all the ugliness and spending something beautiful out of it is the ultimate achievement any one soul can ever hope to reach. With my dream catchers, that's just what I have been blessed to have achieved. Because with every dream catcher spun is a chapter of a life lived that has captured something beautiful out of all that ugliness. Enjoy the show of the interviews of the folks that are going to tell you their experiences with the hangers of life. Okay. 
I'm going deep. I'm going broad. Mm -hmm. And when I'm done with this, what I'm going to do is Kelly and I are going to sit down and we're going to dialogue it to tell the story. And then we're going to burn it on a disc and we're going to bring it down here for everybody here to view before everybody else gets to see. Okay. Then we're going to introduce it to you too. That sounds really cool. All right. Go ahead. Well, my name is Elizabeth. And can you remind me what the questions are? Uh, first question I'm going to have for you is, mm -hmm. what does Hangers of Life mean for you? How do you relate to the Hangers of Life story? I think the Hangers of Life story, um, for me, really, it's been an experience of connection with other people, with not just, I mean, I mean, connection like with the art, but through through each of the each of the dream catchers I've seen, connection obviously with their maker, um, but then everybody else who's viewed the story, everybody's got a different perspective on it, and I really, when I look at them, I feel connected to everybody else who's like who looks at them, maybe feels similarly to how I feel when I look at them, maybe people who have different opinions, um, but I can feel that because they're just they're simple, but they allow for a broad like variety of of connection a connection to that. Everybody has a different perspective. Thank you. Um, what can you take from this story to enhance your life or make your life any better? For me personally, The Hangers of Life series makes me think that beauty can come from the simplest of things. It doesn't take a lot to make something incredible. And that even, I mean, just the simple things you can take for granted around you can really hold a lot more than you would see at first glance. How, if any, has this story affected you? It's really made me stop and think. I'm a go, go, go kind of person, um, but you showing me like the Hangers of Life series where I had to, to pause and take um, intentional time to look at everything, which is not something I, I normally do, and so it really made me appreciate just being able to pause and like find peace in a moment and intentionally reflect not only on like how I feel about something, but just about the, the people around me. What do you think you can add to this story to reach out to others? I don't know about adding to to the story. I think you've already got such a great story here. But I would just, I mean, I encourage people to to try to find what I found, which is, you know, there's a there's a lot of value in in stopping and observing the world around you, about listening to others. Um, not trying to insert your own opinions or your own voice necessarily, but just listening and valuing the stories that others have to share with you. And I think the Hangers of Life series has really uh, encouraged me to do that. Well, the last question I'm going to ask you is, what does this story represent to you? The Hangers of Life story represents unity to me. Um, we're all unique. Each of those dream catchers is a unique creation, but we're we're all connected to it. Like each of the different the different wires are connected to the, to the center. We all have a different purpose, but we all and the circle I think represents how you know it doesn't end. It doesn't beginning. It's all made out of a hanger. We're all simple people, but we're all connected. Um, and when we're together, it can be a beautiful thing. And that's really what the Hangers of Life series has meant to me. I don't think so.
Okay. Interesting. Yeah. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah. Uh, my name is Will Walker, uh, licensed therapist here in the state of Iowa. I've been doing this about 15 years now. Uh, yeah, that's me. Why did you choose this profession? Um, because mental health is fascinating. Uh, everyone suffers from some form of mental health. Uh, so I thought there was my peace in life to kind of learn more about mental health and assist people with mental health and helping people understand that mental health is normal. So you spend a great deal of time studying the field of very, expertise. Very much. Every day. Every day studying. So now you've had an opportunity to read the story of Hangers of Life and see the work from the Hangers of Life. What's your, uh, what is your take on it? I thought it was very fascinating. This was my first opportunity to kind of read the story, to read the story. Uh, and I'm still taking it in now, but I love the, the concept of life, the hanger. Uh, it's a very, very deep analogy um, that dictates from birth stage to adult stage. It's interesting how it, it weaves and how the things that we do in life, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, it all weaves together and develops that full person. So very interesting. What meaning did you or have you gotten from the story? I think once I, like I said before, the meaning I received from it is just that no matter what happens, I contribute everything to mental health. So even mental health is like that hanger too. It's part of that person. It's part of that, that being. Um, so that's what I got from that piece is some of us have those weavings, wolves through life and the hanger and some of that can be our mental health good, bad. True. How, if any, has this story affected you personally? You know, it makes me think about a lot of the patients that I work with. Uh, I really think about, I think as a therapist we never judge people. Uh, our job is to <coughs> understand and help our clients understand what they're going through. And I think for me, that's an analogy that I might even use during my therapy. Really? Mm hmm That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. To help, like I said, patients understand how their life is and how their mental health is a part of them. Mm -hmm. And that there's a reason they have these mental health things going on in their life. Right. Mm -hmm. Very, very deep. What can you take from the story to enhance or make you a life better? Mm -hmm. I think what I can take from it is my continued work with people. I think I think I don't I don't think I needed that story to help me understand to better understand and work with people. I think it just enhanced me and gave me more support to work with people. Because I think I've always been the type that uh, I understand life and I understand people's situations help form them. Kind of like the hanger. So now it just more makes me more confident with what I'm saying to people, what I'm doing with people. It just adds more support, like more of a foundation. That is great. What can you add to this story to help reach other people? I think, I don't think there's anything I can add to it. Really? No. Mm -mm. Not at all. That's life. Life is like a hanger. Wow. Think about it. it is. It's very much so. And we never know which way it's going to take us. We can't predict. So, <coughs> feelings. What, if any, feelings do you have in regards to this story? Hmm. You know, feelings are a number of things. They can be happiness, sadness, uh, disbelief. What better person to, to be able to interpret those mm -hmm. different areas than a professional? Right. I think the feelings that I have personally. Uh, feeling of calm that people understand that not just the mental health profession but just people understand that this can help people in a simple way understand life without simple. seeing a therapist without seeing a doctor simple but yet complex exactly 
and people can put their own interpretation on it. And write their own story. Exactly. So the feeling I have for it is just a feeling of like the ocean is feeling calm. Just very calm. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Because that's the purpose of the message. Mm -hmm. To bring peace. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. And that's interesting. That's it. To bring calm. That's what I feel right now. Because, you know, my whole purpose of this, and you've seen me at my best, you know, uh, it was a lot for one person mm -hmm. to try to understand, yet alone, know where to go with it, mm -hmm. or even how to tell it. Mm -hmm. But now, since you've had an opportunity, what do you make of the writer? Very thoughtful, insightful. Um, someone who's experienced a lot in life because you can't have this wouldn't work for an 18 year old I don't think they can put that together so it has to come from someone who's experienced life the good, the bad, the ugly um, so that's what I think of the writer I think of someone who's experienced someone who's had their ups and downs someone who's grabbed life by the horns and someone that life has grabbed them by the horns True. and understands it's not my way I didn't I didn't make this this is way above me I'm indeed so that's what I think of the writer someone who's very insightful and has been very blessed mm -hmm. they're a great way to put it mm -hmm. even at times they may not have thought they were blessed that is correct because he trust me mm -hmm. I never thought I was blessed mm -hmm. to this finally on the other side last month. Mm -hmm. That's that's beautiful. And I appreciate you taking the time. No problem. You know, I'm honored to work beside everybody. Yes. Thank you. Okay, Jordan. Uh, you know we're doing a story on hangers of life. Yes. What does the hangers of life mean to you? I think it's a, a really awesome metaphor, um, something that you've kind of created out of that. Um, it's really cool how you've incorporated your story into it and then weave that into all of our story together, um, which, you know, don't mind the pun of weave, but I think it's really cool. Uh, I think it's really cool how you've, um, you've taken that metaphor and you've turned it into we're all in this together, we're weaving in and out. Um, I just think it's it's pretty inspiring and I think that, that staff and clients have seen something special in it so what meaning do you have or have gotten from the story uh, that we that we are all in this together that we're all connected to each other how in any way has this affected you personally I think personally it's been awesome to see uh, the determination that you have shown going forward this the inspiration that our clients here have gotten from you has been another thing that's just been really awesome to see <laughs> what can you take from this story to enhance or make your life better uh, I think it's just a way to take a step back and see that I'm one person but it's it, everyone together is is what makes it work what can you add to this story to help reach others? Can I add? Um, I think that when I look at these stream catchers and, and I see a story that you've got here, I, I think that um, it's a reminder of what beauty there is in some simple things um, and so I, I think that that's something that we often forget and forget to look for um, and so it's been nice to to have that reminder any personal feelings towards it? I, I just think they're beautiful I think that they are um, inspiring on lots of different levels and and I'm really excited to have been a part of it and to see it all build. Well, I'm honored to share it and be the person who helped orchestrate it. 
Mm -hmm. Do you want to go in there? Mm -hmm. You've had the opportunity to sit and observe the story that's unfolding, Hangers of Life. Mm -hmm. What's your take on that? I think all of us have large and small hangers of life that we hang on to. And I think all of us are the um, hangers of life for other people at certain times in their life. I have people I have hung to, clung to dearly. And I hope that I've been able to do the same for someone else. What meaning did you get or have you gotten from this story? Well, uh, something that I truly believe in is that there's beauty in everything. Even in the difficult times that we have endured, there's beauty in the process. It's not always pleasant. It's not always kind. It's not ever easy, but I think there is a beauty in the outcome. Beautiful. How, if any, has this story affected you personally? Oh, I love to see the beauty you've created, and I like the representation. I like the fact that Dreamcatchers are, uh, it has a message for everyone. You can make your own message out of it. Mm -hmm. What can you take from this story to enhance or make your life better? To continue to be uh, receptive to new ideas, to new people, different types of people, not to be judgmental based on appearance, or education or abilities to embrace people, love them for their goodness. What do you think you can add to this story to help reach other? Spread the word, live it, be it. What if any feelings do you have regarding the story? Regarding? Well, I love the story because it's the truth and it needs to be expanded and it needs to be heard and I think each person needs to create something from it and move forward. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to add? No, it's a lovely, lovely piece that you've done. Uh, now I'm going to ask you a question. Your first encounter with uh, Mr. Chambers, mm -hmm. what was your first impression? I thought he was very educated and very kind and very loving. And since you've had the opportunity to work with him... More loving, more kind, <laughs> more educated. <laughs> well, I appreciate your time. Um, you And I mean, it, this, is, this means a lot because, you know, it's important we share it with the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm, it you is. know, we need to get this out. And this is everybody's story. Mm -hmm. I was just the instrument that mm -hmm. choreographed it. Well, I'm glad it happened that way. Mm -hmm. Some of us have to step up to the calling. That's right, because you know, people just say, well, somebody else should do this. Yep. I don't have the time, I don't have the talent, I don't have the whatever, the wherewithal, Too the much strength. The pain in that mm -hmm. So I'm glad you stepped up to do it. I'm on it too. Yeah, Thank fabulous. You. Anytime you're ready. Yes. All right. Tell me your name. Uh, my name is Jason Leroy Hogg. Jason Leroy Hogg. You've had the opportunity to participate in telling the story of Hangers of Life. What is your take on Hangers of Life? Uh, what meaning are you getting from this story and the objects that you had the opportunity to see? Uh, the ups and downs of life and the heartaches and the happiness of life. How, if any, has any of this story affected you directly? Um, I can relate to it a lot. Um, just bits and pieces, I can relate to a lot. Um, but I re the story brought me to tears a little bit, parts of it did, because it was, a lot of it was, um, thought, it felt like it's talking about me. Hmm. So, so basically, basically, I can relate to a lot of it. You're saying pretty much this story is you as well. Yes. Because that's what Hangers of Life really yeah. is. It's, it's everybody's story. Yeah, it's very much a lot, a part of, of uh, my life and what I feel inside and what I would love to say out loud, you know, and you said, you wrote it down and didn't even know, I mean, I relate to it that way from my soul and my heart. So, how, if any, has this story and affected you in any way? Um, after I read it, um, I felt more positive. 
I felt a little sad. Um, and parts of it, you know, made me smile because of the honesty, the true honesty of it. Um, but the, rela the relation part of it, I can relate to it the most, you know. It's kind of talks, talks a lot about me, you know. But bits and pieces talk about me. So I can relate to it that way. Wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. So now my last question I have for you is what can you add to this story to reach out to others? To reach out to others? Um, to stay positive and get help where it's, where it's offered. And uh, stay positive and uh, just per have perseverance and move forward and have faith in Christ and that you know that He can bring you out of anything if you have the faith to back that up. So. I was said that was the last question, but I do have one more now. Okay. What can you take from this whole ordeal to enhance your life to be better? This whole ordeal. Um, this whole story. The whole story. experience with this hangers of life. Hangers of life. Um, I take with me, um, I would say, heartache. Lots of heartache when I've seen some of them. Um, lots of beauty. Um, lots of talent. Um, just uh, mixed feelings of bittersweet and whole heart just um, hits you right in the heart. But it hits you in the heart in the right way. It hit me in the heart in the right way. And uh, made me smile and made me tear up. At any point, has it brought you any peace? It's brought me a lot of peace, a whole, whole lot of peace. Um, and I've never felt this much peace in my life. It's so a blessing. Yes, it is. And um, I'm finally relying on Christ to get me through things. And like the story, yeah, like the story. You know, I've overcome a lot of things. And reading the story and looking at the art. It all comes together like a just like a hand in glove, like a like a glove was made for a hand mm -hmm. in my life. So. That's beautiful. And the beauty of it is all that art that was on that table goes for what? Charity. Charity. Hangers of Life, what meaning did you or have you gotten from this story? Well, the meaning that I've gotten from this story is that we all have uh, different uh, life journeys and we've all gone through different uh, ordeals throughout our lives and, and no matter what we've gone through, that we're able to take those, those, those obstacles, if you will, and make them a positive thing, and 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 those those life challenges that we've had, and everyone has them. They have, they're actually what makes us, and we're all individual. We all have an individual story to tell, and, it's, and that's just what the dream catcher is. It's they're all unique. Each one is unique, just like we are unique individuals. How, if any, has this story affected you? Well, what it affected me is to realize that I am unique that there is only one Kenneth and, and when I look back over my life's journey it's not something that, that you should look at and be ashamed of but you should embrace the places that you've, you've been and the things that you've done and be able to take the positive out of those things and realize that those, that those uh, challenges if you will those are what comprise you that's what makes you up what can you take from this story to enhance or maybe make your life better you know the thing that I that I like the most about it is I've always been service oriented all my life. I've always wanted to reach out and help others, and it's just a it's 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 something that I can use as a tool to be able to point out to other people that that their uniqueness in their disabilities and in their strengths as well as you know their weaknesses it makes them 
and, and once again uniquely them and that and, and that we all have worth and we all have a purpose and God has placed a purpose uh, for us here on earth and we just have to find that awesome. I'd like to take this time to thank all my brothers and sisters that helped me tell this story to help me figure out how to tell it these are just some of the folks that I have been blessed to have the opportunity to grow with to work with to walk through this world together with I hope that they may find that continuous peace within find that true beauty within ourselves and share it with the world and also let everybody know that after this chapter be prepared for the next chapter and also I'm going to establish the Hangers of Life Foundation to create a few art centers where people can come together and find that inner beauty and learn how to share it with the world. I thank everybody for taking the opportunity to hear this story. I hope and pray that you may find some peace within it because there's many stories and messages that are yet to come. Love y'all. God bless each and every one of us.